The intracellular pathogen recognition receptor are mostly known as node-like receptors, or NLR. I suggest watching the video on the toll-like receptors so that to get a better understanding of how these receptors work. So the TLRs are found in the cell membrane. The node-like receptors are found intracellularly in the cytosol. The NLRs, the node-like receptors, and the toll-like receptors are similar in structure. The node-like receptors usually recognize cell walls of a pathogen. It contains an LRR domain and a caspase recruitment domain at the bottom, or known, also known as CARD. Now there are two types of NLRs. There's the, the two main types. There's a node 1 and the node 2. Now the node 1 binds to PAMP's peptidoglycans, usually on the gram-negative bacteria, and peptidoglycans is a cell wall component. Now, whereas the node 2 binds also to, to peptidoglycans, but on most of the bacteria. Anyway, let's just say, for example, that node 1 binds to a pathogen, a cell wall of a pathogen, which is a component. Now, two of these same node 1s have to bind together in order to be activated whilst binding to the PAMP. And the two lower domains, the CAR domain, attaches, which then initiates a cascade of events, eventually leading to the final product, NFKB. NFKB is a transcription factor, which then enters the nucleus and transcribes genes for cytokines. So the cytokines then leave the nucleus and cell, recruiting more immune cells, upping, or I can say enhancing the immune response. So that's how the basic process works. And it works just uh, similar to the toll-like receptors because it acts like a signaling molecule, making cytokines. Okay, so that, let's just look at other types of NLRs. We looked at the node 1 and the node 2, the main ones we looked at. Node 1 was characterized by having a card domain at the lower end. Right? Now, another type of NLR has a pyrene lower domain instead of the card domain. And there are actually around 14 types of these NLRs with the pyrene lower domain. And a well-known one is called, in, also found in the cytosol, is called NALP3. I'll just say NALP3, with also, which also consists of the um, LRR domain. And, but instead of the card domain, as mentioned, it consists of the pyrene domain. Another N NLR is the absent in melanoma receptor or AIM2. It also has the pyrene lower domain but instead of the LRR domain in the body it has a thing called a H inversion or HIN. Now the absent in melanoma or AIM2 recognizes double-stranded DNA of a pathogen. I thought that would be interesting to know. So anyway let's just uh, look at NALP3 and see how that works. And it works differently to the node 1 and node 2 uh, NLRs. Because when it recognizes a pathogen, it also initiates a cascade of events, but different cascade of events. Um, and it actually activates a protein within the cell called the activated caspase 1. Now, this activated caspase 1 then activates uh, these inactive cytokines, which are yet to be packaged up. So it so it, with these cytokines, these pro-inflammatory cytokines, it gets packaged up. It then gets packaged up into endosomes to be sent out of the cell to help in the immune response. Like so. So as you can see, it works differently to the node one and node two, as in it's it has a activated caspase one instead of the NFKB. Um, I really hope that. Made that was understandable and it made sense to you. Um, the cascade of events is not really that complex. You can find it in a book, uh, but I really didn't think it was that important and it was pretty boring. I think you just well for me, um, but you just need to know what what the main things are going on. So um, I hope that was okay. Uh, please comment and like and subscribe, perhaps. Thank you.